All right, we're back. We're back. Can do some short ads today. Um, Cause ads suck, don't they? But you know what you should do if you don't like ads? You should get Twitch Turbo. That's amazing. Mm. Uh. Anyway. Anyway. Winners match. Terror versus Rams. It's gonna be a TVP. It's gonna be a best of three. And I really want to see if Rams can pull it off here. Now, of course, uh, Rams will be playing Protoss this time. So, of course, last set he played a TVP. This time he'll be on the other side of the matchup. And from what we saw last season, his PVT is not quite as good as his Terran. I mean, you probably wouldn't expect it to. Uh, expect it to be. You know, there's not that many high-level Terrans around for him to, to require to play PVT against. And so, um, like, I remember last season he got thrashed by Project pretty soundly. Uh, so yeah, this is actually probably not the best group for, for Rams, in fact, having to play, uh, you know, his weaker race here. But, we'll see how he does here against Terror. Here we go. Alright, here we go. At the top right as the red Terran, we have Terror. At the bottom left as the yellow Protoss, we have Rams. Now, uh, apparently the chat is actually broken, but if you want to talk to people, don't worry, you can go to the handy dandy live report thread on Team Liquid, uh, and you can talk, talk there. So I, I recommend people do that. Live reporting is always good fun. Uh, in particular because, um, I think the, the mod rules are slightly, or the mods are slightly more relaxed in the uh, <laughs> in the live report threads, so the posting doesn't necessarily have to be top quality, although I'm sure they'll be very upset at me for saying something like that. Um, but, you know, being a little bit more spammy in, in live report threads is fine. Uh, disclaimer, it's not my fault if you get banned. Just saying. So, what do we have here? Cross map PVT, Wind and Cloud again. Of course, the first map is not going to change. So yeah, let's see if uh, let's see if Rams can do a a better job than, than G5 did. Not not to you know not to BMG5, but uh, well, he did end up losing the game. Although it was pretty exciting. Though. It did look like he, he almost had it there with that big on siege. Um, and unfortunately, he didn't quite have enough stuff. And also, the goons were just really uncooperative there. Anyway, it looks like Rams going to do a gateway scout. And I think on in cross positions. This is probably a, a pretty decent map for for PVT. So again, you know, you can't take the really close third, uh, or rather, you can't take a really protected third. Um, and you know, the the main bad terrain feature for Protoss against Terran on this map, or for for anybody against Terran, is that there's like this, this bit of high ground outside your natural. So it doesn't quite clip your natural, but it clips like a lot of area around. So once you shank position right there, it gets a lot of coverage, or you can position it here similarly. So if the Terran does some, you know, <laughs> fast two-fact or some big two-base all-in, that can be pretty annoying. But since it's cross-map, that makes it more difficult for the Terran. So I think as a pro as a Protoss, I'd be pretty happy about this position. Uh, so, let's see, we're about to come in here to the Terran base. Rams likewise gonna scout vertically and then go across there. See, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody scouts vertically, except G5 scout it horizontally. He's just that cool, you know? G5's like the hipster guy. Pylon scouts and also scouts in the non-conventional direction. Pretty awesome. I mean, the thing is, right, I can I can talk all I want about, you know, his scouting or his weird gas dealing or whatever, but at the end of the day, he's the guy who beat Boxer, and I haven't, so, you know. It is what it is. Anyway, Goon should come out shortly and deal with this guy. I see he's gonna see nothing at all out of the ordinary in the portal space. And we still have gas mining. There's two guys on gas. If this was Cryoc, that would probably mean a starboard. I don't know what that means from Terror. He could go for starboard too. <clears throat> starboard? Nope. Factory? 
Probably not. He's gonna do something with the gas though, right? He's gonna have a lot of excess gas if he just goes uh, command center now. No gas? Or sorry, no no building? He's not even building marines. What is he building? Build something! Build something! Why is he not building anything? Why are there so many yellow dots on the minimap? Okay, there's one random pile on here. The goon is looking for the SCV, and the probe went to the 6 o'clock to make sure, I guess, the SCV wasn't there. And it looks like it is just gonna be a command center. Which I think is not that good, because look at how much gas he has. He's got 300 gas already, and he's, there's no way to spend it this early on, so... Really should have pulled two guys off. I don't know why Terrans aren't doing that. I think that's like the second time recently that I've seen that. I mean, like, the traditional thing to do is to pull two guys off gas until you get a command center and then put them on. And it's a, it, you know, the reason that that's traditional is because it's good. It's because you don't need all that extra gas that early. Oh no, he's gonna get through. Oh no, he turned around! He might die now! Or he might not. I think he'll get blocked anyway because there's another good coming out. And. Well, he's gonna get chased down here because uh, Rams does not want Terra to see this uh, this 2 gate opening. And it looks like he did kill it. Man, there's another random pylon here. What's going on with all these pylons? Look at this. He's got like more pylons on the map than he has in his base. Or it's two and two, I guess. That's the same. And that is a relatively quick engineering bay, I think. Uh, although he is going siege expand, so maybe maybe that's okay actually. Maybe that's actually okay. I don't actually know. People don't really go Siege Expand nowadays, so uh, I'm not 100% sure. And, um, and this is quite curious, I'm not sure why he's going Siege Expand. You know, to be fair, in cross positions like this, Siege Expand is probably not bad at all. You know, normally I'd say FD is a superior opening nowadays, given the flexibility and allowing you to be aggressive. But, you know, since their cross map and since the Protoss went for a 2 gate opening, I think Siege Expand is actually probably better in this position, because the FD wouldn't really do anything anyway. So... These guys are going to be a little bit annoying. Siege is not quite done yet, it seems. It's about to finish now. It looks like he has enough units to just push these goons out anyway. He's going to be a little bit careful. There's five goons now. But yeah, he's going to siege up in a pretty protected position. So I think he'll be fine. Uh, Rams is going to go for this. There's a third tank out now, though. So that seems quite risky. Uh, but he does... Oh, okay. So he doesn't commit. He just slaps one tank, trades one goon for one tank, and actually just runs out again. So that's actually quite a nice trade there. Almost lost the second goon, but not quite, which means that it was actually a good exchange for him. If he lost the second goon, it probably... I would say it's probably not the greatest exchange. It's not terrible, two goons for a tank, but it's not good. So we do see the Robo now. And... We see a second factory. So it looks like after that little poke, everything's going to be kind of as normal. And Rams looks like he might do the exact same build that G5 did against him, which is uh, two gate power, uh, you know, goon pressure into double expand here, but he has actually gotten the Robo first. It looks like he went two gate goon, expand, and then a Robo, and then the third Nexus. So it's a slightly safer opening. You get those observers out pretty quickly uh, compared to what G5 did, and, and you still get a pretty quick third base as well. So I, I, I do think this variation is a little bit safer. I, I, get, I like it a little bit more. But again, you know, it's a uh, it's up to the player, but there's no right or wrong. You know, G5 just took a bigger risk, and, and it paid off for him, actually, so in his case, it did work out anyway. Um, just unfortunately, couldn't follow through later on. Uh, now, this armory, by the way, seems to be pretty quick, so it, it doesn't look like Terror is going to go too crazy early on here. Now, you see, normally when I see when I, when I would see this third uh, fast armory, I would say, okay, Terror's going to, or, yeah, the Ter Terror's going to get a, a quick third base and just play turtle style, but... Again, I, I don't really think that's very feasible on this map. I mean, he could certainly still go for the 3 o'clock base and, and play a little bit defensively. But, uh, but yeah, okay, it looks like he is actually going to do that. So he is actually going to go for that third base. So, so what he's going to have to do is he's going to have to move out of his natural. He's going to have to move up here onto this high ground platform and basically defend this area outside of his natural, which is quite exposed compared to a map like Fighting Spirit. But it's still defendable. It's not... It's not the end of the world, you can still set up a decent position up there, and you know, you don't actually have to defend the other one, because you basically, you can defend this high ground pod, and this second entrance into the base, you can simply wall it off and have like one tank behind, and it's almost impossible for the pearls to break down there, even though it's, you know, a, a reverse ramp. So, you know, I think this is probably still fine, he's just gotta be a little bit more careful here, and you can see he's getting a third factory already. So, you know, I think he is gonna have to get a few more units out, uh, compared to normal, to get that third safely, but otherwise he will be able to do it. Well, 6 o'clock mining away now uh, for for Terra. You can see... Or sorry, for Rams. You can see Terra... Oh no! It's not tight! Oh my god, it's not a wall! I thought that was a wall too! 
Oh my god, that is not good. Oh man, there was a whole bunch of pros there for no reason. Actually, it wasn't. It looks like you didn't lose that many, but oh man, look at that. Even goons can walk through there. Can they? Yeah, they can. <laughs> oh, that is just the worst. That is the worst. Ah. Uh... Oh well. Well, now you know. It's not tight if you just put two files there. That's probably tight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he walled a goon in as well. Might be intentional, I'm not sure. Yeah, he's got a Propia at the bottom right. I don't know if this is just for scouting or if he's thinking about taking a base there. He's also sort of got a mana pylon at the 3 o'clock that he put at the beginning of the game. Rams is like... Got some uh, some psychic powers here. He's got some premonition. Because he like, knew the third was going to be here, so he walked it off. Anyway, we've got some cannons going up at the uh, National of the Third, so I quite like that. It's like we got some Arbiter attack uh, soon to be incoming. He got the Templar Archives quite quickly. Does he have DTs? Because that because normally if you're going just for Arbiters and no Templars, you would get the Stargate first and then the Archives. Because the Stargate does take a little bit longer to build. Um, so I don't know if he just messed up the order or not. He's also only got four gateways, which makes me very, very nervous. And I don't understand why he's only got four. Even though he is teching fairly quickly to Arbiters, he has three bases already. So he can certainly afford at least two more gateways, I feel. Uh, and now look at this. Terra is just moving out. And Rams just only still has four gateways against five factory production. So how is, on earth is he going to keep up with this? And his Arbiters are not going to be out for ages. You know, he's, he's nowhere near Arbiters. Um, you know, even when that Tribunal finishes, Arbiters just take hours and hours to build. So he's got to make do with these few gateway units. And oh my god, I didn't realize that was clippable like that. Oh god, that is obnoxious. Oh man, this map sucks. I hate this. This map is so good for Terran. God! Terran! I mean, you know, every map is good for Terran, but it looks like this map is particularly good for Terran. God, Terrans! Are these probes not in range? Oh, now they're gonna be in range. Doink! Oh man, anyway, it looks like a 100 supply for both players. Uh, Ram's actually getting supply lock blocks because he's losing his pylon wall. And in the meantime, I mean, you know, Terra's just playing pretty by the book here, and Ram's is kind of not. I mean, you can see his money is going up a little bit here. He's going to start moving across the map instead. It, it looks like he's given up on this base. He doesn't feel like he can actually assault this from the left. He might be trying to go hit it from the back, hit it go around the side, but no, he's actually just going to uh, counterattack, I guess. Oh no, he's gonna, uh, which way is he gonna go? Oh no, he's gonna go from the back. Okay, he's actually gonna catch all these tanks out of, uh, out of position and on siege, so this actually attack, this attack's gonna work, although he's actually quite gonna catch them here. He's getting distracted by the barracks. It's just unfortunate. He's gonna pull back now and clear this out. Now, is he gonna be in time to save the Nexus is the question. That Nexus is dangerously low. That tank has actually been right clicked on the Nexus. One more shot will kill it. Ah, oh, he got it. He got it. Ay, 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 ay. So Terra doing the good target fire there, taking down the Nexus. And now we've got two bases for Rams against the three bases of Terror. This is not boding well for Mr. Rams here. It's boding well for, well, well for Mr. Terra though. I mean, yeah, he's got 2-1 on the way. He's probably going to add some more factories now. Yeah, got a, got a couple more factories on the way. You know, the Pearls is uh, just now retaking his third. There's already a mine block in the 9 o'clock. So he knows those things there. This probes at both corner bases. I really feel like Ram should just take another base now at one of the corners and just try and play catch up. Probably not this one though, because the town's like already here. Should probably take the top left one. Um, and looks like the first arbiter is finally gonna turn its way out. Did he? Okay, he got plus one armor there. I guess he started that. I don't know why he started plus one armor when he could get plus two weapons. Uh, weapons, in my opinion, is vastly superior to armor upgrades in, in PvT. Because, I mean, you know, a Siege Tank does like 75 damage a shot. Is is one armor really gonna really gonna help you against that? I don't think so. I don't think it actually does anything. It obviously helps a little bit against the Vultures, but that's not what you're worried about, is it? Proportionally, I think it makes more sense to get just plus two weapons. Hey, it looks like unfortunately for Rams, both of his corner uh, probes have been killed now. Um, so he no longer has that nice little opportunity, but uh, he's moving out with his first Arbiter. Gonna do some mind clearing. Gotta be careful these uh, OBS don't get too far ahead. As you can see, this is what happens when the OBS get too far ahead. That's the slight risk you take when you get OBS observer speed. Of course, it helps that they can move around more quickly and, and stay with your goons, but you also have to make sure if you're not just A-moving from really far distance and let your OBS get too far ahead. 
Anyway, uh, Rams is moving around the top side here. Actually, Terra doesn't seem to have very much defending as natural, believe it or not. Uh, there's a side special patrolling to make sure there's no uh, no recall, but but a straight attack into the natural could actually work really, really well. I mean, look at this. Terra's actually uh, def preparing to defend against the recall, and the rest of his tanks are actually on the southern ridge here, outside the 3 o'clock, so a big counterattack into the natural could have done something there. Unfortunately for Rams, he didn't actually know that. He didn't... Uh, Realize that he could have done a, a ton of damage there, so instead he's just going to uh, go clear out this mine, take another base, and he does desperately need another base. He needs to be up a base over the Terran, uh, or else he is, well, he's behind. He is what he is. Wow, look at that! Wait, he doesn't even have EMP. So that, that vessel that was that's flying around here is just like a fake that doesn't actually, isn't able to do anything. Like, what, 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 if an Arbiter came in here, this vessel could do absolutely nothing. It only has Defense Matrix. It could just Defense Matrix the Arbiter and help it out. It's like the Friendly Vessel. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I assume he just forgot, but uh, <laughs> that could have been a costly mistake. Could you imagine if a, uh, an Arbiter flew in here and he was like desperately trying to EMP it and just could not because he didn't have a spell? Oh, that would have been so bad. Anyway, it looks like both players are going to actually just chill for a little bit. Terror, I would imagine, is going to push out soon, though. His 2-1 is finished. You know, he's at 182 supply. I think he just wanted to make sure he had recall defense ready, and then he should move out. Like, this is plenty. Ob's is going to see the edge of the minefield here. It's also going to see the turret. It's going to see the vessel, but really, Terra should just go. He's got plenty of uh, defense here. He still doesn't have EMP, though. <laughs> the arm is, like, running away, but it's actually completely safe. Anyway, uh, interestingly, Ram's building a pylon here, but actually just taking the other base. I think this is safer anyway, because you can just block the ramp with goons. And, oh, looks like the Arbiter might have found an opening. Recall! Perfect opening! Look at that! Right on the gateways, no mines there. Sneaking through the turret wall. Rams just picking the perfect point. And this is actually problematic, because there's no there's no tanks here. There are only vultures and SCVs to defend this. There's a lot of vultures. Is there another tank in the back? No, there's no tank in the back. So this is actually going to do an insane amount of damage. Oh my god. This is actually doing a ridiculous amount of damage here. <laughs> another ar another uh, vessel coming in, but finally the tanks are coming in here. But look at this, all the all the SCVs in the main are falling here. I think Rams should uh, target down these armories here. Those are the high value targets right now. He's just kind of letting his units do whatever they want, but really I think should go at least take down one of these armories uh, with the remaining units that he has. Killing the vessel there, killing all the SCVs, that's all fantastic. Uh, 11 kill goon sitting there in the back, 10 kill goon over here, uh, but it looks like, yes, he is going to target an army now, and he's actually going to get the weapons one, which I think is probably a more useful one as well, so very nice snipe as well. I don't think he has enough to get the other one, unfortunately for him. But look at that, clearing out an entire base full of SCVs, killing the uh, army that was getting uh, attack upgrade, and, you know, that's after Terror invested so much. Look at this, look at all this anti-recall defense, it's absolutely nothing. Oh, man. You know, it's, it's like when you buy insurance on something, and then, you know, it breaks, and then your insurance company finds some stupid way to weasel out of it. You're just like, oh, god damn it. Completely not useful. Ah, see, basically, this is, like, bad insurance. Anyway, uh, Terry's still gonna, gonna poke back down here to the, uh, to this 3 o'clock-ish area. Is he gonna try and think about taking one of these bases? I mean, since he's really focused on attacking in this direction, basically, you know, I would imagine he maybe wants to take this base next so he can kind of put pressure on the Protoss 6 o'clock while taking his own expansion. The problem with that is that he's allowing Rams to get the top left completely for free. You can see Gateway's already being added. Another Nexus is about to be built. So, you know, Rams is definitely pulling himself back into this. With that one recall, he's actually just flipped the supply, uh, supply difference. Nice EMP there, does hit the Arbiter. Um, and it's actually, uh oh, oh my god, the tanks are on siege, the tanks are on siege, Rams is going for it, big stasis, but it's on the lead tanks, he should have got the back tanks instead, not the best tanks to stasis, but he does have a high Templar, are there going to be any storms, where are the storms, no, he gets emp and it looks like Rams has to pull back here, does not get the best position, he called some tanks on siege, but he wastes his stasis there, and didn't get the storms also, he is pulling back, Supply not even out a little bit, 170 to 177. Rams is pumping two Stargate uh, Arbiters. He's got, wow, he's got plenty of gateways. Looks like, unfortunately, Trapped Goon in his base. But he's got double upgrades, double Stargates going. What is he? He's at 1-1 one, one against the 2-2 uh, the two, two of the Terran, though. So the Terran uh, does still have good upgrades. But look at this, another base, four Rams at the top left, natural. Looks like another command center, though, is floating down to the bottom right. Looks like uh, uh, Terran actually lost his barracks in that exchange. By the way, he's actually mined up so much that he no longer has any space to build a, build 
factors anymore. I'm also curious why uh, Rams is going from this direction and not just staying on the high ground here and going forward. I guess because uh, Terra is kind of defending that position more, but I don't know. Anyway, it looks like he might be going for a counterattack now, uh, or at least, you know, clearing out some of the mines on the map, denying Terra that vision. Curiously, this 9 o'clock base is still unclaimed by Rams, even though I'd imagine he can take it fairly easily now, but more problematically is that Terra is now making his way down to 6 o'clock again. Terra is now maxed with the upgrade advantage, with vessels that will be able to EMP these Arbiters, and this 6 o'clock base, I don't know if Rams can even defend it. I wonder if Rams might just go for a counterattack now, or a counter recall or something, because it doesn't look like he's even moving his army into position. No, looks like he's actually going towards uh, Terra's natural, and Terra actually scans part of the army there and sees they're moving towards his natural. So he is actually pulling a lot of his units back. As you can see, he's pulling all the vultures back, he's pulling the vessels back, leaving just the tanks by themselves to clear out the 6 o'clock, which they will do. Uh, Rams is not going to try and take that out. By the way, I might be confusing the names occasionally, my bad. Um... But anyway, yeah, Rams is going to lose that base, uh, and, and Terra meanwhile has taken a fourth base now at the bottom right now. As I said, uh, you know, very uh, correct, I guess, uh, expansion patterns. Did he just get emp again? Oh man, I think a big, yeah, a big EMP just hit again on that Arbiter. So he only has the one Arbiter with energy now, and oh man, that might get hit as well. Oh god, oh god, that's going to be painful! There's a Templar there as well! It looks like it backed off, I'm not sure why. Is there an Arbiter in position? Oh, well there is, but now he's got no energy, so I guess he's not going to do anything. Uh, meanwhile, Rams is going to re-expand here to the 9 o'clock. He has, of course, lost this 6 o'clock base, so Terra's just going to pull back now. And Terra is actually sort of splitting the map now, as you can see. And generally, as a Protoss, you don't really want to let Terra freely split the map. If they get even bases to you, uh, it's very hard to actually win the long game because, uh, because of how efficient the Terran army is. So um, so he's really going to want to try something, but here we go, second Arbiter is coming in, this vessel does have enough for EMP, and there are a lot of turrets here, but is the recall going to go off? The recall does go off, Terra was not paying attention, the recall is successful there, there's so many vessels, but it looks like Terra, is he going to pull back, is he going to attack? No, he's going to pull back, I thought he was going to go for the, the top left bases, but he is not, he is pulling back to defend the recall, but how much damage is it going to do before he gets back there? An EMP on these uh, Templars would probably be a good idea, or not, okay that's fine too. Uh, and it looks like, though, look at this! Rams is distracting the main army by attacking with his, uh, his ground forces. By the way, I've yet to see a single Psionic Storm from Rams, even though he's built, like, 8 high tempo in this game. I'm a little bit disappointed by this. I don't know why, you know, being being not that great with storms is fine, but if you know you're not good with the storms, you probably just shouldn't make high tempo. Like, for the longest time when I played PBT, I would just not make a single high tempo, because I knew I was so bad that I would just not storm with him anyway. But anyway, it looks like, uh, you know, a few Spy Depots cleared out, the Starport lost, and I think the Science Fidelity might have been lost as well. Uh, and finally some storms, just to prove me wrong. Good on you, Rams. Um, but yeah, it looks like this is going to get cleaned up. Doing a good amount of damage, they're getting another vessel there. And since this uh, Sargate died, actually, uh, Terra's going to be short on science vessels for a little while here. Uh, and he's down to 160 supply, Rams up at 170, he's got this 9 o'clock base again. However, uh, Terra got the bottom right, as I said, you know, he is splitting the map, and that is problematic. You know, even though Rams is making some good moves here and there, they are on even bases, and that is not really acceptable in PBT at this point. You cannot allow this to happen, uh, or else the Terror or the Terran will eventually grind you down. But you know he's still got plenty of room left. You know Terra hasn't really moved out on the map too much, even though he's got his kind of his side here. So of course the 12 and the 6 o'clock are still contested. Although Terra's actually making a bit of headroom down here. Of course this base is already sort of uh, you know mined through a bit. But um, Terra might even think about taking this ba base next if you consider the expansion pattern. Although I guess the 12 o'clock might make more sense since it's closer to his natural. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, I mean, these are actually all mines, they're not actually units, but oh, we have a recall going down to the bottom right, Terra sees it, he's pulling his vultures into position, but the mines are not going to be in position by the time the recall hits, he's immediately floating the command center away here, the Arbiters should just recall now, so it doesn't, so the mines don't just kill everything, and there's a recall, but there's one mine in the middle, it looks like, oh, I think it was just killed straight away, so the one mine in the middle doesn't trigger, there's one eye Templar that could do some nice damage here. Are the goons going to focus down the command center? They are going to try. I don't know if he'll be able to get it though. No, it doesn't look like he will. So he's going to move down here, going to deny the space a little bit longer. So this is a good move by Rams, keeping himself a base ahead of the Terran. That's exactly what he needs to be doing here in this PVT. In the meantime, is he making any kind of carrier switch? He is making a carrier switch! Here are the carriers, three Stargate carriers on the way. I don't actually know where he got a Thiepian. Oh, four Stargate carriers, double Cybernetics core, four upgrades. Does Terra have any idea? He's got a couple of Goliaths, but he's not making additional Goliaths. It does not look like this has been detected yet. However, it will still take a little bit of time for this to be effective, but he does have now the critical number of four carriers. He can actually move out now. You generally want to wait until you have at least four carriers before you reveal them. 
He might just wait for the Interceptors uh, to finish and then move out and reveal the carries. But that's exactly what you want to do. As I said, very difficult to be cost efficient late game against the Terran Ground Army. So switching to carries is one of the ways to keep, uh, you know, keep up with the Terran basically. Nice stasis there as well, stopping that vessel that did actually have max energy. It looks like he might go for a big attack here. The tanks are awfully clumped there. Huge stasis getting forward. The siege tanks is going up here, but it looks like his ground army is really, really small. I don't know why he's got no units whatsoever. It looks like a lot of his army is down at the bottom right after the recall, and I guess he also had a lot of supply, but another massive stasis. Oh my god, that must be at least three stasis. But just with pure stasis, and the fact there's no detection as well, he's gonna camp this army. Now he's bringing the carriers in, the carriers will be there to finish everything off. Um, Terror, of course, is gonna try and bring in reinforcements to save things once they get out of the stasis. There's so many units here that actually, uh, if Rams doesn't bring enough units, once they come out of stasis, they will actually be able to survive. But no, here come the carriers, the carriers are revealed. He's gonna get all these units for free. The EMP goes off after the science vessel comes out, it doesn't really matter. He does get another EMP off, I didn't actually see where it hit. But these units are all going to be forfeit. However, we have some vultures counterattacking, but there are more carriers on the way. Now Rams is up to seven carriers, and th there must be emergency goliaths in production. Yes, there is the mass goliath production, but is it going to be in time? Terra now just going to use the remainder of his ground army to try and do as much damage as possible because he knows the carriers are going to just kill it anyway. He needs to buy enough time to get a critical mass of goliaths up. He needs to distract the carriers. He needs to just kill bases, and he is looks like he is going to kill a lot of probes here. For some reason, Rams is not pulling the probes. That's a little bit weird to me. He should at least pull the probes, but uh, I mean, I guess by not saving the probes. Oh my god, Terror just GG's! Terror sees the critical mass of carriers and also being unable to take the bottom right base, throws in the towel. So Rams takes the first game and is one game away. Rams is one game away from 2 0 in the group again. Again. Oh my goodness. I mean, Rams. You know, might not necessarily be that much of an underdog after his last performance, but still, I I would imagine a lot, if not most people, would have picked Skyline and Terra to advance. I mean, Sk Skyline, you know, third place finisher, uh, has been active uh, recently. Terra also, you know, made the round of eight last time. Actually, now that I think about it, I think both Skyline and Terra got eliminated by Michael last season. So fun little tidbit there. But uh, but damn, Rams. See, this is what I'm talking about, though. See, last season. You know, Rams participated, he was a little bit shaky, and you know, people were saying like, you know, what's going on with Rams? He used to be such a powerhouse, why is he not performing well? Well, it looks like he is back in action, um, but he's not through yet, he's not through yet. He's got to win one more game, because it is a best of three, so we'll go do a very quick break, and then come back for the next game.